how we doing today uh i i got a little strange subject today it's a little little different but the same subject matter oh uh, last night i had the bright idea to i had a i've got a cork board that i had most of my well all that i know of uh concert ticket stubs pinned to it i had them all pinned there you know and like i said before in previous videos i had i've had i mean i've still got my very first concert stub and, and it's like second and third you know so on and i did discover i guess what my second because i talked about in one of the videos that i couldn't remember the second concert that i went to because ozzy was so good he was my first one he was so good i couldn't even remember the second one well uh i found the stub and it was david lee roth uh, the Eat em and Smile Tour. But anyway, I'll talk about that at some point, about him at some point. But what I want to talk about today is, is I we were going through there and we were lining all the concerts up, the stubs up, and, you know, by month and year, you know, of the, of the progression of, of them. And I come across, like, at least three different concerts that I had ticket stubs from that I have no memory whatsoever of being at the concert. And uh, one of them was June, uh, June 13th, 1989. I want y'all to listen to this now and tell me, was any of y'all, any of y'all that hears this, were y'all at this concert? It was June the 13th, I believe, of 1989, of course, the Mid-South Coliseum, Memphis, Tennessee, Metallica, headlining. Metallica. Now, understand something here. I'm talking about, I don't remember seeing Metallica other than open for Ozzy. I don't remember ever seeing them at the Mid-South Coliseum. Especially in a headlining tour. Now in 90, 91 or 92, I'll talk about it sometime, me and Lori went and saw them at the Pyramid. That was 91 or 92. Uh, may have been 92, I can't remember. I, I've got, still got the stub though, so I'll get the date on it. But We saw them then. I've seen them, uh, what, four times probably, something like that. I've seen them a few times because, well, I mean, I just have. Uh, they were at the Monsters of Rock in 88. They opened for Ozzy in 86. They, uh, I saw them headline at the Pyramid. Obviously, obviously, I saw them in 89 headline at the Mid-South Coliseum. But I have no recollection of that concert whatsoever. So if there's somebody out there that was actually with me at that concert, uh, would you feel free to refresh my memory? Now, there was another concert on there of course me and Lori got married in 91 and we went to we went to several concerts 91 92 and I come across another one I have no recollection of ever going to and that was bad company bad company headlining the mid-south Coliseum 1992 and I have no recollect recollection of that recollection no recollection of that concert, none whatsoever. So if somebody was at that concert, or actually saw me at that concert, would you please refresh my memory on it? Because I have no, and I'm a huge, look, I'm a huge Paul Rogers fan. And I was thinking, well, maybe that's when he had left the band and it was somebody else singing. But when I, I looked it up online, uh, it showed the picture and Paul Rogers is in the picture. Now I saw him, I saw Paul Rogers open for Leonard Skinner at Tupelo Coliseum back several years ago. Uh, he's very good. Paul Rogers is very good. Uh, he's one of my favorite all-time vocalists. He's right in there. He's in the top He's in the top five of my favorite male vocalists. There he is. And so I have no idea. I don't remember anything. And see, me and Lori were married in 92. So that means she was with me. And I don't think she remembers it. And 
to answer y'all's questions right now, no, we wasn't drinking. We didn't drink. <laughs> Especially going to concerts, we wasn't drinking. And we wasn't on drugs. Never done drugs. <clears throat> so we have no idea. I have no idea. I don't remember that. And another ticket stub that I came across, and this band, y'all should look it up because I think they're doing some shows again right now. Uh, it's a band Doyle Brown Hall uh, put together and uh, Charlie Sexton it's called Archangel they're out of Texas and they were really good man uh, they were really good uh, in the early 90s early to mid 90s they were really good they, they to my knowledge they only released that one album and it was really good I, I really liked them we, matter of fact uh, one of the bands I was in Rock Zone we did one of their songs uh, Sent by Angels and uh, it, they were a very good band uh, kind of Texas blues rockish kind of not really blues Texas blues but they're you know they're still they're really good <clears throat> and uh, so I don't remember that show at all it was at the New Daisy Theater in Memphis uh, anybody else out there and one of the stubs that I have is for me and uh, Lori uh, Dale Rockard and Lori's cousin Sheila Doan uh, we went to see Steelheart at New Daisy Theater I messaged Sheila Lori doesn't remember the year Dale doesn't remember the year Sheila didn't remember the year I messaged her yesterday she didn't remember what year it was but uh, the poor boys opened for them and uh, I remember that so I kind of had that confused in my head, but got, I was thinking that the poor boys opened for Jackal there, but I guess it was still hard. But anyway, if anybody remembers what year it was, it's going to have to be going to have to be like 92, late 91, 92, possibly 93. So if anybody else was there, like Johnny Holler or somebody like that, come on here and let me know what year that was. Maybe you still got the stub. Maybe you still got the ticket stub. Uh, one of the things I, I really wish I had was the I, I don't have I got to look it was the for the Monsters of Rock tour but I did look it up online it was in uh, me and Dale of course Billy Ray was there as well uh, that was in 1988 that was July 9th 1988 it actually went on July 8th and 9th we went the 9th I'm sure because we were there most of the day and uh that was a hellacious concert. I mean, we're talking uh, Van Halen with Sammy Hagar, the Scorpions, Dokken, Metallica, and Kingdom Come. So, I mean, it was one more concert. It, it was good, too. I mean, it was really good, but it was hot, man. It was hot. If anybody don't believe it was hot, just ask Billy Ray Sneed. He got on the floor down in the down in the mosh pit. <laughs> His poor old hat did not make it out. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But... If anybody has recollection of these concerts that I've mentioned, remembering the year or whatever, or remembering that, because I have the I have the ticket stub, Metallica, June of 1989, headlining at the Mid South Coliseum, have no recollection of that whatsoever. So if anybody has any recollection of that, would you please comment below or message me or something, let me know because. I don't remember it. You know, there's a lot of... I've got several, several of my stubs. I've got, you know, but there's a bunch of them that I don't have. I still have most of the ones that I had before me and Lori got married in 91, except for, I can remember, like Rat. We, we saw Rat uh, there at the Mid-South Coliseum. I don't have that stub. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, I guess it disappeared uh, the entertainer, what happened to it? Uh, and that was a good concert, except for, well, anyway, I hate to talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna do a video on it. But if anybody, if anybody knows that, you know, any remembers anything about that Metallica or whatever, give me a shout out, okay? This has been the Steering Wheel Commentator. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button.